I think I owe you all an apology, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a pretty big one. I've made several mistakes in my life. Uh, one of the biggest ones is not notifying to all of you that I'm a Shin Megami Tensei fan, boyos! It's lately becoming another big franchise that I feel like I missed out on as a child, and now I'm super excited about it because Shin Megami Tensei is actually quite an awesome franchise. Now, I've covered it a bit on my channel, notably in the Haunted Gaming franchise, when we looked at the, uh, when we looked at the, did I really call it a franchise? My god, I'm a terrible human being. But we looked at Shin Megami Tensei 1, the actual NES game, and uh, as much as uh, I I've loved that game, moving on to Shin Megami Tensei 3 lately, I've been falling more in love. I love the gameplay. I love me that JRPG. It's hard, but I love me a good hard game. And why am I saying that in a video titled Pokemon? Well, that's because I actually consider it to be sort of an adult version of Pokemon with the demon fusing mechanics, recruiting and all that. It's, it's a much more higher level JRPG, a much more beautiful pristine game as a pokemon gamer my last pokemon game was pokemon diamond and pearl after that i pretty much stopped playing the franchise because i found that the quality was dropping due to the fact that the games were getting noticeably more easier all right, typically after Heart Gold and Soul Silver, around the time the 3DS games came out with Pokemon X and Y, uh, which I played for like maybe 11 hours and I gave up. I played some uh, some some of that Pokemon Ultra, uh, sorry, Pokemon Moon. Uh, didn't get past the first trial because it bored me to death. Uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon missed me with all of that. I played a bit of Pokemon Shield, and I have to say that the games have been getting consistently easier because all Game Freak is really doing is tossing a bunch of EXP shit making it so that leveling your party is an absolute breeze and by the time you get to any gym leader you are very over leveled and the game is just literally designed for embryos maybe even maybe even life that hasn't been conceived yet can beat pokemon games so yeah i've, I've been sort of losing it on that regard i'm not going to sit here and tell you the graphics ruined it for me i'm going to sit here and tell you the gameplay itself ruined it and that's why i personally am one of the people that believes if you want to get a pokemon game you're going to have to go with digimon on the switch because this is better than the actual pokemon experience we're getting now from game freak that is until the latest reveal for pokemon presents now of course you know it's the 25th anniversary game freak is coming out with two count them two mainline games on the consoles and i'm actually a bit excited for it so to get real with it they have a diamond and pearl remake which we're gonna watch the trailer for together and we might cringe we might look at it because this release has me a bit on the edge so sit back ladies and gentlemen relax get the get the get those rectums puckered because we're about to watch the diamond and pearl together so i mean it starts off with the ds and it's all pretty cool you know it gets me a little hyped you know you're getting me into the game i see Woo! get that little chime action Okay, all right, all right, so far so good. This is what it looked like on the DS. All right, still stands the test of time, might I add. What does it look like on the Switch? Oh! <laughs> Getting the little TV action going on. All right, okay, okay, you know what? It's fine, they changed a lot. We got a little fucking Nintendo Switch instead of the fucking Wii. Pretty great, I'd say. Oh man, oh man, this is supposed to be the remake to end all fucking remakes, but... Well, at least the battle animations look relatively good, I'd say. Yeah, why couldn't they use those character models in the overworld, dude? <laughs> Come on! It's like the most lukewarm remake I've ever seen. Literally the only thing that maybe stands up are these battle animations, which look actually really decent. It's literally just the overworld that, my god, they did not care at all. I mean, Jesus Christ, I want to go back to one still real quick. Boys, this is what the remake was missing. Literally every character looks like they're the exact same fucking height for some reason. You know, I, I, I'm going to be real with you. This remake itself... Uh, visually does not look what I expected. And this is kind of a letdown, you know, at least when it comes to Pokemon remakes. Like, when you look at Heart Gold and Soul Silver, bro, they bang those remakes out. They make them look just as good as Diamond and Pearl. You know, when you look at uh, Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby, 
Uh, I hope I got those right, by the way. But those games look as good as Pokemon X and Y. Start jump up from the GBA releases of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And when you look at this, it's kind of like just insanity. Even Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu looked really good as remakes. Even though they weren't full mainline games, this game doesn't even match that level. Shit, Pokemon Shield and Sword don't even match that level. But I was at least expecting this game to look as good as Pokemon Sword and Shield. I, I To this day, why we don't have a Pokemon game that you can move around, you know, with another analog stick as shown to have a full 3D camera is just insanity to me. I feel like we're really missing out on it. And this is just like th this remake, by the way, would have printed boatloads of money, plane loads of money, cartel loads of money. So the fact that we kind of cheaped out over here with this overworld, I mean, ultimately, I'll be real. It looks like a mobile game. It looks like if you were playing Final Fantasy 15 uh, Pocket Edition, which is fine if you buy it on a cell phone. But I mean, the Switch is capable of so much more. To see this level of a remake is kind of a bit disappointing. But I do have an open mind. Listen, if this game turns out to be good gameplay wise, I'm down. However, there are two fears that I have. A, since this is a Diamond and Pearl remake, I really hope they give the extra content that was in Pokemon Platinum, like Distortion World and all of that. If they miss out on it, I really don't have a reason to play this. I'll just play Platinum instead. It's not like that game is bad. And the other thing is, I really, really hope it's not as casual and as easy. I hope the difficulty remains. At least give us a difficulty setting, because I don't want to play this game with like super EXP shares and having an overlevel party before the first gym leader. That would just not be okay. But again, I'm keeping an open mind because Diamond and Pearl are my babies. I love playing those games. I'd go back to them anytime. So if these remakes are as good and as faithful, then I'm down. I'm okay with that. So now that we got my wet dream out of the way, let's talk about what I'm actually really excited for. Now, when I look at games like this, the reason I bought a Nintendo Switch was for games like Shin Megami Tensei 5, okay? To this day, the game isn't out. It's gonna come out this year, hopefully 2021, and I'm looking forward to it. It's a much more mature game. It's, it's Shin Megami Tensei. I find it better than Pokemon, but, what if I told you Pokemon was finally upgrading its format just a little bit? This is a prequel to the Pokemon like Diamond and Pearl, the prequel to the Sinnoh region, and this looks bomb. So this is called Pokemon Legends Arceus, and we're going to watch this together too, just because I want to just experience this again with all of you. This is a tale from a long, long time ago. Yeah, a long, long time ago. I just want to get to the gameplay section here. So here they're like drawing in the mountains, you know, where you take on good old Palkia or Dialga, depending on your version, and BAM! There you go! At first glance, this kind of looks like Breath of the Wild, but Pokemon Edition, but remember, they actually got the trees to look right this time, so we're not getting that Pokemon Sword and Shield experience. Now, it's a very big open world, there's not a whole lot of city action I'm seeing, but this game looks beautiful for the fucking Switch so far. Let me just put it out there. And it's got it's got this sneaking around element. Like, just look at how real time it is. You're not in menus. You actually bring out the Pokeball and you capture it. Look, you can see from the distance. Does it work? Is that going to pop? Yes! And then they got little battles over here. You're capturing more Pokemon. You're actually analyzing the scenario to capture if Pokemon... Like, you're... It's like, it's like you're... It's an advanced version of the Pokedex. At its core, this is what Pokemon is. You know, gotta catch them all. Gotta study them all. All of it. And it's really, really good. I think it's safe to say to cover the negatives for all of this. Let's just cover two things in first. I know that the frame rate is bad, all right? I mean, just looking at this alone, this is like 20 frames per second. It's it's not good. 20 to 30 frames. It's a very laggy looking experience. Hell, if we go further into it, there's even a funnier scene. Look at this. Look, look at this Pokemon. Look at it as we walk to it. Bro, it's animating at like two frames a second, all right? This thing is looking like a PowerPoint presentation out in the world. Now, this has been one of the things that's been most criticized but i would like to remind the audience this is a game releasing in early 2022 okay next year at least they're not cyberpunk 2077 in this and giving us gameplay that just doesn't exist this is obviously alpha build of gameplay subject to change so clearly they're showing us the game in its early development the concept is there capturing pokemon in an open world scenario where everything is effectively done in real time it's a nice breath of change 
change in a franchise that hasn't seen much change to fucking begin with. So yeah, I'm really excited to see where this goes. You know, this game could be a total flop, which I'm not expecting. This game could actually be a complete banger. And if it is, all the power to it. Pokemon needs some freshness in it. It needs something tossed into it. So I'm excited to see where they're going to go with it. I mean, it looks beautiful for a Pokemon game. All right, very beautiful. And it's time to see where Game Freak takes this franchise. If this is successful, it would be a nice side spinoff to the mainline franchises. I almost wager if the mainline franchise becomes easier and easier as time goes on to appeal to the kiddies, this might be the more hardcore Pokemon game for all of us adults who want something of a change. So yeah, I'm excited for it. You know, I'm not going to sit there and complain about this nonsense going on. But of course, there are definitely other channels, you know, troll channels out there that definitely <laughs> uh, make these clickbait fucking videos like Pokemon Legends Arceus is a complete disappointment. Brother, the game hasn't released yet. Okay, what do you mean complete disappointment? Oh, you're, oh, you're reviewing the Sinnoh games? Oh yeah? <laughs> They're not even out yet, dude. God damn. There's something, wow, I'm getting a weird pain in my fucking wrist for some reason. Jesus Christ. Now, with all of that set aside, I think Pokemon Legends Arceus is the one that I'm most hyped for. Uh, I think that the remakes of Diamond and Pearl are ones where I'm going to sit back, relax, I'm going to look at gameplay, some reviews before this releases, and base my purchase based on that. But at least Pokemon Legends Arceus is the one game getting me excited again for the franchise, all right? This might be the weird, like, Monster Hunter World, you know, Breath of the Wild spinoff that the entire franchise needs. Because as of now, Pokemon is kind of losing its gameplay luster, at least for me, at least from some of the older viewers that I've talked to, some of the older gamers that have played this. Like, I'm not a Pokemon noob. I have been with the franchise since Red and Blue. The only difference is those games were a work of magic and actually had challenge to it. The modern games, unfortunately, don't carry that same level of bravado. Game Freak is just not catering to us anymore. They're catering to the kiddies, and it's very obvious with how difficult and how streamlined these newer games are. So hopefully Pokemon Legends Arceus is Game Freak's way of saying, listen boys, we're sorry, let's give you a good fucking Pokemon experience. And for those people who are already in the critical bandwagon in the entire, this, this is just for the fanboys of the Pokemon franchise. This is just for like the people who are so hardcore set in their ways. I am already seeing Reddit post after Reddit post of mother fuckers being absolutely critical of this game. It has not come out yet. We have just seen pre-alpha footage. Relax. If you are so militant against change, you are the reason the Pokemon franchise is in the shitter right now, at least from a video game's perspective. Calm the fuck down. Let the games come out. If it's good, it's fucking good. All the power to us. Jesus Christ. But that's where I'm going to end the video off, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. I am out.